Hallelujah. Amen. I welcome you to this season of wisdom. And we are, to, we are observing what must we do when we are abandoned? What must we do when we are abandoned? Now, I want to start with this scripture, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. The scripture says, Before I form there, I knew that I would then to be a prophet. Every child of God has great destiny. And the greater your destiny, the greater your enemy. The greater your destiny, the greater your enemy. An enemy is not only the, when you see somebody with two horns on his head. No. There are always things that connotes the enemy. One of them is distraction. Another one is side attraction. Distraction or side attraction. There's always something that will sh want to shift your focus from the pursuit that God has given to you. It could be side attraction, it could be side distraction. Now, one of the side distractions is people around you who may not want you to get to your destination, who may be weary, who may be tired. So what must we do when we are abandoned? That is the thing. What must we do when we are abandoned? Number one, God first. God first. If you can hold to God, you have cured everything. If God be for us, who will be against us? God first. God first. God first. Hold on to God. Now, people around you may abandon you. Your wife, your husband, your colleagues, your friends. Just like Job, they abandoned him. What of Joseph? His brothers betrayed him. What of Jesus? One of his disciples betrayed him. And when they call Jesus to go and crucify or to judge him, all the disciples abandoned him. So what you, what must you do when you are abandoned? First, God. Jesus held on to God and God never abandoned him. Mark, Bible says in the book of Psalm 1, oh, Psalm 121, verse 1 to 2, it says, I look upon the mountains, where cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord and made heaven and the earth. Hold God tight, no matter what is happening. Number two, be courageous. Be courageous. The good news is this. When you are given assignment, enemy will also give you side distraction and attraction. Be courageous. God said to Joshua, be courageous. Be courageous. It may be like David standing in the front of Goliath, but be courageous. Be courageous. Number two, the next one, self-encouragement. Self-encouragement. There are people that will surround you that will be discouraging you in what you are doing. Self-encouragement. Self-encouragement. That's what you must do. If you don't encourage, first of all, before people encourage you, encourage yourself. The greatest disease in the pursuit of destiny is when someone discourages himself. If you want to encourage you and you discourage yourself, you can't get to your destination. But when you encourage yourself and people are discouraging you, you get to your destination. Self encouragement. Be courageous. The next one, buy your relationship with God at the altar of prayer. By consulting God consistently. By consulting God consistently. 
always consult God consistently, consistently by your relationship with God, by your, by your way to the heart of God, at the of prayer. And the next one is study the word. Let the word of God be your companion. Let the word of God be your companion. Many believers, they abandon the word. Many, they have abandoned the word. Always study the word. Always study the word. Always study the word. The next one, you must engage your faith. You must engage your faith. A man without faith is fake. A man without faith, if without faith, is calling for fake. And is calling for failure. Let your trust be in God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Without faith, it is impossible to, to please God. For he is diligent, he is the one that is the reward of them that diligently seek him. Luke chapter 1, 45. Bless the shit above that believe it. There's a performance of those things that were told of her. Engage your faith. There are things that will want to kill your faith, but don't allow your faith to be killed. Put your faith online and watch it. It may look as if things are going down in your hand, but let your faith not go down. So they can plant a new Engage your faith. And I see God blessing you on every side. I pray for you. Every demonic force fighting you. That forces is cleared out of your life. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Shalom. Amen.